Hi hey guys. Okay, I get a lot of uh, a few. I've had a few quite a few requests of people saying, "What's the R O ninety like?" Well, it's it's a little baby one, as you know. It's a ninety diameter. Fabulous for these great little small jobs. Now, as you can sort of see, these are pretty small by the size of my hand. These are small bits of timber, only about sixty-five millimeters wide. Um, and this is on the on the road to on the road tex. You can see it's done a bit of work. This little baby. But um, you've got the coarse um, rotary, the real rotor action. You've got the actually orbital action. And over here, you've got the delta head action. So the unit comes with the delta head. I've got a range of papers over here, as you can see, which is pretty generous. Um, and it also comes down here in my RO90 uh, box. And you've got the delta, you got the delta head on that, which is hidden in here somewhere. It's in a real mess. Okay, but anyway, it's hidden in here. But you also get a great little guard, and the guard stops you when you're actually um, sanding things to protect you from uh, sanding the, the object near it. This is pretty much like it's just a baby version of the, the RO, RO one hundred and fifty, but. Now, here I am, I've got it set on, where are we, where is the, I never remember where half all these things are, they're all different, gee, terrible, isn't it, <laughs> I can't find the, where, oh, there it is, see, they hide them everywhere, these damn things, this is the control, now, I've got this on one, because, you know, when you're using a, a, um, a light, I think I've got a hundred and, what have I got? 120, I think it is. Yeah, 120 paper. This is a little slightly bit rough uh, for what I want to do, but this is hardwood. And it's just got a little bit of, it's hard to see, a bit of like machine marks in it. But there was one I just sanded before. This the machine marks are slightly still there, bit, but it feels like silk. And I guess I can, but this is only going to be for a little spice rack. But I'll give you an idea of the, what I love about it and is the, um, the back is louder than the sander. And you can see here, I'll try and get it one hand. You can see it's trying to work in the right direction. You rub your hand around the end here like this if you want. So what I like about what about I like about this RO90 is it's great for small stuff and it's lovely and quiet. So you can work away in your workshop here and not just wake the dead. Um, I think it's great. It's, it's just fantastic. I reckon an RO150 and one of these is pretty much got just set up for um, doing a hell of a lot of sanding. Um, I don't. You know, I the one, rotary one twenty five. Well, you know, that's just that's just another one in between. You know, so, but I think it's great. Um, I use it all the time for this sort of, especially all this small stuff or thin stuff. Um, and you can also get different heads. You can also get different heads on them. With see, this is quite a squishy head, as you can see. It's quite a squishy one. There's a lot of hard ones, um, but I've got a bit of a round over here, so I'm just using it the the, um, the squishy one to go around the round over. Yeah, okay, well, I just sort of tell you a little bit about the Rotex 90, because uh, a few people have actually um, requested uh, what they think. But 
I think it's worth it. In fact, you know, I, I'd buy another one tomorrow if uh, when this one dies. Not a problem at all.